If you look up how a tendon behaves, you will find the spring analogy, but this is incomplete. It's accurate, but it doesn't account for everything that a tendon can do. So the spring analogy, when you dip down in a vertical jump, the tendon spring would get stretched, it would store energy. When you reverse the action to go upwards, the spring's energy would release and you would jump higher than you would had you not had the tendon and you had just tried to use muscular power. So the spring analogy can work in a situation of a counter movement jump. But what about when you have to do something like land? Does a tendon behave in the same spring manner? Probably not. This was in a 2014 study titled How Tendons Buffer Energy Dissipated by Muscle. They asked that question, how do tendons act when you have to do something like land from a jump? Does the tendon absorb a lot of the impact because it's a stiff structure? Probably not. First of all, a tendon only dissipates a small fraction, less than 10% of the energy on its own. It doesn't have much potential to do that. Whatever it does do, the energy must be returned back into the muscle. The muscle fascicles must be lengthened to dissipate energy. So if you've ever done a lot of landings, you've probably found that you get really sore in your muscles the day or two days after. The idea is probably because of the eccentric overload on your muscle fascicles. They're forced to lengthen a lot and that's very damaging to them. But if you have a tendon, tendon that is trained, it can actually help to minimize a lot of this damage. But then you'd ask, how can that happen? Because a tendon can't dissipate the energy. The tendon can't dissipate the energy, but it can actually delay the load that is going through the muscle, which will protect the muscle. In this study, they looked at wild turkey lateral gastrocnemius, which has the same action as the gastroc in humans, and they suspended them from a rope and pulley system, and they dropped them over a landing area. And then they looked at what happened when they landed from the jump. In this graph, they showed that during the first period after foot contact, when muscle force rose rapidly, energy was stored almost exclusively in the lateral gastrocnemius tendon. It was only later after most of the ankle flexion had occurred that the muscle fascicles lengthened. Tendon energy was stored rapidly and released slowly. So the tendon doesn't dissipate energy on its own, but what it is doing is it's allowing for muscle contractions to be slower, less powerful, and involve lower forces, all of which are going to protect the muscle from excessive damage when you're doing something like landing. And to sum all this up, they said that this suggests that without an elastic tendon, power inputs to active muscle fibers would be much higher. So if you don't have an elastic tendon, you have a tendon that's not trained to handle these things, you're probably going to get a lot more load through your muscles, which might be something that you don't want. So to bring this back, you have the tendon spring analogy, which is helping to amplify power, but you also have this shock absorption happening, which is attenuating the power that is going through the muscles. So... You have the tendons helping you for performance, but you also have the tendons helping you for health. Hopefully that helps understand things better. Try it out. Enjoy.